And uh, Davis Day, Councillor Coombs. The operative clause reads, that be it therefore resolved that the CBRM Mayor, Mayor Cecil P. Clark and Council proclaim June 11, 2017 as Davis Day in the Cape Breton Region of Municipality. And I so move. Moved by Councillor Coombs, seconded by Councillor Gillespie. Uh, on the motion, Councillor Coombs. Mayor and fellow councillors, it is my honor to read the Davis Day Proclamation. June 11th is an important day in District 11. Although it is important in all mining communities, in my district it is extremely poignant and important. The events that made this day possible occurred in my community, and the families affected continue to reside there. The story of the 1925 strike is forever burned in my being and helped shape who I am. For those who are unaware of Davis Day, it is an annual day of remembrance observed on June 11th in coal mining communities in Nova Scotia, whereby citizens recognize all miners who were killed on the job in Nova Scotia. However, for most of us, Davis Day has another meaning, an even more important one, legacy. Davis Day originated in the memory of William Davis, a Nawarfor coal miner who was killed during the 1925 mining strike near the former power plant and pumping station at Nawarfor Lake. In the 1920s, there was intense conflict between Nova Scotia miners, organized as District 26 of the UMWA, and BESCO, resulting in 58 strikes within those five years. On January 15, 1925, the miners' contract expired with BESCO under Roy Wolving, who was determined to break the union. On March 2, 1925, credit at company stores located in strong union areas was cut off. Four days later, 12,000 miners went on strike. The company refused arbitration and by June 4th, District 26 began 100% picketing. BESCO went as far as to shut down the water supply and electricity to the town of New Waterford and surrounding area. In response to the decision, the striking miners marched in protest in order to restore water and electricity back to the community. William Davis was one of those striking miners. On June 11th, at approximately 11 a.m., William Davis was shot and killed. Many miners were injured when striking miners were fired on by the company police force, whose officers fired over 300 shots. In the weeks and months following Davis's shooting, company facilities were looted and they were vandalized. Despite the deployment of provincial police force and 3,000 3, soldiers in what remains, Canada's second largest military deployment for an internal conflict. The legacy of workers' rights continues to burn strong, and the sacrifice of William Davis and others like him have not been forgotten. In commemoration of Davis' sacrifice, the UMWA designated June 11th in his honor with miners in Nova Scotia vowing to never work on Davis Day again, ever again. Today, we continue to commemorate the sacrifice William Davis and other workers made to ensure better working and living conditions. The miners of the 1925 strike and their families withstood the gaffe and will always be remembered. Thank you. Thank you. Any other discussion on the motion? Questions, Questions been called. Council, please proceed to vote. And motion is carried. Thank you very much. And